Hello there, welcome to our YouTube channel Biotech Unlimited. Today we are going to discuss about upstream and downstream processing. Now, before jumping into the topic, you must understand that these two processes are part of bioprocess. Now, bioprocess is nothing but the process where whole living organism or its components are utilized for the production of desired components. Okay, or products. Sorry. So, to understand the upstream processing, let's take an example here: curd production or antibiotic production, or any other drug production. To begin with the production, we must require certain kinds of ingredients. So, let's say in case of curd, that's the best example to understand. We need milk as a media and bacterial culture. and that bacterial culture may contain lactobacillus and other milk fermenting bacteria so to find out which bacteria are able to ferment the milk we have to perform screening like to find out which one are able to and the second thing once we found out that this bacteria are able to ferment we must select like which one is giving a high amount of curd or you can say like the best curd and once we found out then we must pro, uh, like perform improvement like change the temperature ps and see at what at what parameters the bacteria is able to produce best curd with high amount of nutrition and nowadays the scientists are able to perform genetic modifications okay to give the best product and once we once we are done with the screening selection improvement we go for media development and scale up like what are things you require for fermentation and scale up is like uh, before inoculating certain amount of bacteria we must culture them so the addition of inoculum into the fermentation media is called inoculation and the same thing as we uh, went through curd production same process goes for antibody production just little bit variation will be there so the upstream process can be defined as the things we carried out to begin the fermentation process like selection modification and inoculation of strain in the fermenter or bioreactor to begin the fermentation of valuable products now let's say once the, the fermentation process has been started once the fermentation process is done the next thing we do is the recovery of our product and that is called downstream processing now to begin with the downstream processing first we perform separation based on where our desired product is present whether it is in, in biomass or in the media so we take suppose you uh, suppose if the product is present in media we'll take out the biomass and discard the media and um, by centrifugation or other lysis method we'll reco will recover the desired product and concentrate it and then we'll perform purification of our desired product and lastly what we do will uh, formulate our product by adding excipients or uh, other uh, suppose by drying and finally packaging so those last things are involved in polishing and packing and it is defined as the product recovery phase of the fermentation by clarification concentration purification and formulation of the desired product and since i have uh, said or uh, the upstream processing and the downstream processing you understood i hope you understood the uh, basic things of both the processes which are involved in bio process and uh, you can make it your own definition i hope you liked the video so please subscribe our channel and hit the bell button so that you will get the notification of our new videos and uh, guys if you have any doubt you can uh, put in the comment box and even if you want another particular definition 
we can uh, provide that for you so please drop that uh, particular term in our comment box and thank you thank you very much